Welcome to another episode of GitHub Copilot. Today we are looking on one of the experimental feature available in VS Code. Last month we discussed about one of the experimental feature that is generation of the code based on coding instructions or coding guidelines. Today we are looking at how to bring the better code coverage. As you all know, in a development environment, unit tests plays a major role. It's not only really unique test. How much code coverage is more important? How much the unit test is covered? For that, we look for the code coverage matrices. As part of the unit test generation, normally we generate the unit test with the various scenarios or you need to pass the conditions to copilot or if it is the slash test commands, it generates a bunch of unit tests that may give a good code coverage. But if it is a new update in your code, you have already covered 80% of the code and you modified the code with a new feature or new condition, how to cover only that portion or how to identify which portion of the code need new test cases and generate test cases accordingly. So this new experimental feature available in VS Code will help you to generate test cases based on your code coverage requirements. As I mentioned, it's an experimental feature available in VS Code. I have a Java project open in VS Code. A simple project with a two few Java classes start with a calculator class to understand the concept first. Then we'll go for a little more complex methods like a palindrome or Armstrong kind of thing. But if you have a more business centric methods, you can try the same approach. As it's a new topic, we are starting with a simple code piece to understand the concept first. We have set of methods defined under calculator class and the corresponding methods are available here. Test methods are available. And as part of the testing, you have the test methods covered here. Let me run the test cases. All test cases executed successfully. Let us run this test cases with code coverage. Here we have calculated test with the run test with coverage. I'm going to execute that one. And you can observe that there is coverage information available down. Calculator area, there is a 38 point cup one percentage coverage so i can select this one and it shows me the covered area this uh, green indicates that this code is covered as part of my test cases but red indicate it's not covered as part of the test cases so for generating test cases pertaining to this particular red area you have a code lens come appearing here it's based on the settings I have done, generate tests using Copilot. So this feature enablement is in your settings.json. You need to enable github.copilot.chat.experimental.generatetest.codelens equal to true. So set this code lens as true. Once it's done and run your test cases with code coverage, you will be able to see this indicating generate test using copilot area so you can just click on that one which generate the test cases it start adding the test cases here in your test project class I just go ahead and accepted that and let me generate test cases for the second one as well it's generated another set of test cases I went ahead and accepted it and served my test class and now you can see there are a bunch of new test cases uh, added here. Just refreshing it and going ahead and running the test case with code coverage. This time you can observe that calculated.java have 100% test coverage. Let me go to the next class that is a utility.java. If I look at the corresponding test class there is no test cases generated as of now so i'm taking the help of copilot and selecting one of the method for test generation 
so it needs to generate a set of test cases for this prime area and let me just add this particular one and I am going to remove some of the test cases to ensure that it's not covered fully. So there are two test cases right now. Let us go to the testing view and the test cases are already identified here. Let us run with code coverage. As you can observe, utility.java is having 28% code coverage. Once you select that one, you have these options for generating test cases. So you can select this particular one for generating the test cases for the pending areas. Right now it says created test cases for palindrome and you can go ahead for generating for the Armstrong also. Right now I just done for palindrome and again rerunning the test cases for utility tests using test coverage. As you can observe that it's moved to 62 percentage and if I look at the palindrome area it's completely covered all are green color indicating that a proper test coverage is achieved here. This is how you can enable the new experimental feature called the code lens for generating test cases based on your code coverage how many test cases are required for a hundred percentage code coverage the copilot is able to help you to add new test cases based on your code coverage data thank you